Moving on, amid increasing tensions in the Red Sea, the UN Assistant Secretary General Khalid Khairi reiterated the Secretary General's call on all parties involved not to escalate even more the situation in the interest of peace and stability in the Red Sea and the wide region. The CEO also uh, asked that all uh, concerned parties must do their utmost to avoid further escalation, reduce tensions and exercise restraint. The United States and the United Kingdom with support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada, Canada and the Netherlands launched a series of cruise missiles and airstrikes against the Houthi movement in Yemen in response to Houthi attacks on ship in the Red Sea. I said to Jane has more details of that in this report. Briefing the Security Council on Friday, Khalid Kahri, Assistant Secretary General for Middle East Asia after the military forces of the United States and the United Kingdom supported by four countries reportedly conducted over 50 air strikes and missile strikes on the targets across Yemen. According to the Houthis, this resulted in five dead and six wounded fighters. The Assistant Secretary General stated that the United States cannot independently verify these figures as reported. He said no UN staff or premises were said to have been affected. He however mentioned that the strike followed continued hoodies targeting of this wall in Red Sea, including what was reported as the biggest attack. We are witnessing a cycle of violence that risks grave political security, economic and humanitarian repercussions in Yemen and the region. Recent humanitarian improvements in the country are fragile and could easily be reversed if there are further incidents, while progress on reaching a political settlement to end the war in Yemen could also be undermined, leaving the people of Yemen facing the impact of continued conflict. Kahiri emphasized on the importance of ensuring the safety and security of maritime navigation in the region as highlighted in the resolution of 2722 of the Security Council. In that regard, we also call for the immediate release of the galaxy leader which was seized by the Houthis on 19 November and the release of her crew. We call on this council to continue its efforts in actively engaging with all concerned parties to prevent further escalation from exacerbating regional tensions or undermining regional peace, security or international trade. Meanwhile, the Russian ambassador Vyselina Benzea observed that despite the attention of their Western colleagues, this massive strike by the U.S. and the Great Britain on the territory of Yemen have nothing in common with the exercise of the right to self-defense under Article 51 of the U.N. Chapter. The United Nations and Britain have reportedly launched several military strikes in Yemen in response to Houthi's rebel attack on shipping in the Red Sea, raising fears of an escalation of conflict in the region. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Aisa Tujane.